Hi, my name is Roger. How are you doing? In this short video, I'm going to go through seven tips for a musician or an entertainer. So these tips have nothing to do with the music you play, how you should play it or what kind of music. If you're a solo artist or in a band, nothing to do with that. I want to share with you my thoughts that surrounds the gig, that surrounds the performance. So let's get into it. Tip number one, be on time. Yes, be on time. Seems obvious, doesn't it, to be on time? But you won't believe how many musicians that seem to have a problem with the clock and you're wasting other people's time by always coming late no one is going to want to work with you if you're always late so please keep everyone happy by being on time tip number two have your gear in order see to it that you have decent drum heads, that you have your sticks with you, that you have a pick for the guitar, that you have a cable that is working, and an extra cable, and electricity to, a, to your pedal board, that you have your sustain pedal with you for the keyboard and the stand. I have forgotten the stand a couple of times. It's not fun. See to it that you have working gear, and always bring extra. A friend of mine that I used to play with a lot, a good friend and a really good musician, he always asked me if I have some extra cable or electricity for his pedal board or something. Of course, I helped him. I like him and he's a good musician. But it was also tiresome and it took a lot of time from the sound check and the gathering. and <sighs> So see to it that you have working gear. And try it before you go to the gig. Tip number three. Learn the names. Learn the names of the people you're going to work with. Maybe you're a substitute in a band. You have to learn the other band members' names, don't you? But also, learn the names of the sound engineer, the monitor person. And if you're in a club, the bartender, the doorman, the waitress. Learn the names. You're going to get so much better help and they are going to remember you in a much more positive way if you learn their names. Tip number four, socialize. Socialize with the people I just mentioned. Socialize with the sound engineer. Go and ask him, what are you using that second computer for? And he's going to be or proud, she. he or she, well, is going to be proud to tell you why he's or she Use, is using that second computer because they are proud of their work. It, the same way you are proud of your work. Uh, socialize with the bartender and the waitress. Ask them where they're from. If you have the time, opportunity, possibility to e socialize with the audience, do that also, especially if you're an entertainer. The risk is that you're going to end up doing 80 selfies, but that's the only risk you will have so much more positive response if you socialize even with them. They are going to remember you in a much more positive way. A secret, if I'm playing as a musician for an artist, everyone knows the artist's name, but no one knows my name. But if I'm out socializing, learn the names of the bartender and the cleaning staff or whatever, they're going to remember my name also. Really? Yes, it's true. I, I hope. Tip number five. Know what you can demand. Know what you can demand on stage when you have a sound check. Try to ask the monitor engineer or the sound engineer if he's doing the monitors also. Can you make that brighter? Can you raise that? Can you lower that? Can you make that darker? Can you pan that on the side? If that person says, well, now I'm having trouble to do more, accept it. Know what you can demand, but also know the limits. If you have a contract for the gig and it says that they are supplying food for you, maybe in a restaurant, know that you can demand going to the restaurant. But know also that maybe you can't demand whatsoever on the menu. The best thing to do is to call before and ask, 
Is there food for me? Uh, can I get some drinks? Whatever they answer, accept it. But then you know what you can demand and where the limit is. Tip number six, don't be afraid to ask. Everyone at the venue you're performing at, if it's a club or a stadium or in a church, wherever, don't be afraid to ask because everyone is working there for the same purpose. To make people happy, to make people in a good mood, to entertain people. And everyone is working for that. If someone asks you something, even if you don't know the answer, try to point them in the right direction. You've already learned the name of the bartender, so if someone asks you if they can get something to drink, just say, go to Robert. Robert? I just made up a name, okay? And the seventh and last tip is go without expectations. Yes, you can go with high hopes, of course. You can hope for that the gig is going to go well and uh, that you're going to perform well and the audience is going to like you and all those things. But go without expectations because you never know what, what's going to happen. Maybe there's a thunderstorm outside and the electricity drops after five minutes. Maybe eight people come to the gig. And then you have to do the best of that situation. Don't expect anything. Hope. That was my seven tips for a musician or an entertainer. And the Swedish word of today is computer. In Swedish, it's dator. Dator. And roger that.